Oh, kitty. Ooh, big kitty. Now back with the pet project, the real life Catwoman, Tammy Trujillo. Hey, I love those kitties. You know that, but I love those puppy dogs too. And today we're talking a lot of puppy stuff. This is our Veterans Day show. Yeah, I know we're a day late, but we are on Saturday. So what can we do? We have an operation. We have a mission today on this show. And our mission is Operation Kuma. You say, what? Who's Operation Kuma? What's Operation Kuma? Well, we've got a wonderful guy on the phone. I'm going to introduce you to him in a minute. He is a veteran of Iraq and Afghanistan. And he's got a very important partner in his life, and that is Kuma. And Kuma has gotten hurt. Kuma needs a little help. So we're going to hear Sergeant Josh Hansen's story in a moment. We're going to talk about Kuma. And you know what? In honor of Veterans Day, if you can help us out with getting the money for a surgery Kuma needs, that would probably be one of the finest things you could do to honor veterans this year because this dog is an extremely important dog. Josh Hansen. Yes. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah? Yeah. We are so, so happy to have you on the show. This is such an honor today. I greatly appreciate it. It's great to see the support. I yeah. Think yeah, I know. I, I've got your Facebook page up right now, Operation Kuma. Uh-huh. You got 216 likes. <laughs> so you got an audience of 216 people on Facebook. You're on with us across the nation. Can you tell us, can we start a little bit by finding out about you and your service? Sure. Um, after September 11th, um, at 30 years old, I joined the, the military because um, I knew where we'd be going to war and mm -hmm. I wanted to be a support of it. And I did, I served two tours in Iraq, uh, basically from 2004 to 2007 when I was injured. And I was a IED hunter in Iraq, so I would clear the roads of the roadside bombs that were uh, killing our soldiers and wounding them. Uh -huh. And so it was an extremely rewarding job to, because every bomb I removed from the roads would be three lives saved from death or injury. Mm -hmm. um, Very dangerous job, Josh. Yeah, yeah, it was. And, but it was really rewarding knowing you were doing something to bring boys back home. <laughs> you got that right. Yeah. Now, you were injured? Yes, Tell in us March. A Tell I us was, a little about what happened. Okay, in, in March of 07, I was on a mission down in Fallujah, and uh, I was hit by two IEDs, one right after the other. The first IED flattened the tires on my truck, and I didn't want to get out in the kill zone right then. I figured I'll just drive the truck on flat tires and get out of that area. Mm -hmm. And some vehicles came around me and said, oh, yeah, there's no more bombs. I drove like 10 more feet and hit a second one that uh, blew the motor out of my truck about... 20 meters away, and uh, I guess I went unconscious, and, uh, you know, a lot of it's just kind of a blur. Oh, sure, of course, <laughs> absolutely. Know, next thing I know, I'm in uh, Germany uh, seeing doctors there, then they sent me to uh, down in San Antonio, down in Bampsey, uh -huh. and I spent three months there uh, getting my balance back, my speech, um, you know, my, with a, I had ended up with a a traumatic brain injury, the TBI, mm -hmm. uh, back and neck injuries, and uh, I wear hearing aids now and stuff, and mm -hmm. obviously a post-traumatic stress syndrome. Uh, we ended up losing six guys over there, and when you're when you're dealing with that stuff, you come home with it. Oh, you know? how could you not, Josh? Yeah, when how people say, not? oh, you served in Iraq, and I said, I'm still there. Yeah. I, I live in Iraq almost daily. Uh, my brother was a Vietnam vet. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Now, there is this wonderful young lady in your life named Kuma. Yep. <laughs> now, you, you, came, you got back home. You're in the Northwest. How, how, how did you find Kuma? How did Kuma find you? Oh, uh, I ended up rescuing her from a guy that was, uh, she was uh, three years old. And he had her listed for like 50 bucks on a <laughs> website. And I was like, well, that's when Rottweilers turn into fighting dogs and stuff. You're right. And so I went ahead and got a hold of the gentleman and, and went and picked her up. And uh, she's just such a sweetheart and did a lot of work with her, got her trained for 
for the needs I would need. And ever since I haven't heard, I mean, I've been able to get out of the house more, uh, go do things, which before I was just stricken to the house. The only time I'd leave, it's just the, you know, the over-vigilance really gets to you. And with having the dog, she would take a big part of that for me. I didn't have to worry as much. You know, someone's coming up behind me, my dog, the Rottweiler, will stop and turn and look to keep me alert so I don't have to be so hyper all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, and it really, she really calms me down, keeps me calm in public. I mean, it's just just amazing what animals do for us. <laughs> well, she knows what you need. Oh, she does. She does, and she loves you. You rescued her. Yeah, yeah, and she's rescued me. Yep. You know, with the depression and stuff, she knows when I'm down, she'll uh-huh. come cuddle up to me. Uh, boy, when I grab her service vest, she she knows she's going to work. <laughs> and we've she got did. a great, there's a great picture of you and Kuma up on Facebook. <laughs> I love that picture, Josh. <laughs> the look on your face, the look on her face. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. What a pair. Now, what happened recently? Kuma's got an injury. Tell us about how that happened and what's going on. Yeah, it's really, really common with the Rottweiler breed. They uh-huh. uh, damage the ligament in their knee. Huh. And on a lot, you know, I had a Rottweiler before her that had the same thing. But back then I was, you know, I owned my own business. Mm-hmm. I was making good money so I could afford it, and it was no problem. But after being injured, you're on a set income, sure. which is not close to what we used to be. And, and it's just been tearing me up, wondering what to do with her. And uh, this great lady, uh, Christy, got a hold of me, and she was like, we're going to get that dog fixed. Yeah, you know? she helped us hook up with you today. Yeah, you know, and, and it's just you know, anytime I start getting depressed about society, then someone just blows your mind and comes through with with helping someone out. And, you know, it's it's been great. Well, we've got more to talk about, so we've got, we're running into a break right now. Josh, stay on the line with us. All right. Because we got to talk about how everybody can chip in, and that's the key word, chip in and get Operation Kuma over the top on the money we need to get Kuma back on all four feet and help Josh out. So stay tuned. You're listening to The Pet Project on CRN. I'm Tammy Trujillo. Happy Veterans Day. I know we're a day late. Hey, we can have Veterans Day for two straight days if we want to. 